Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today we're going to talk about Baldur's Gate 3. Now, you may or may not have seen my last video on it, where I was sort of talking about some of my frustrations and things like that with the game. But ultimately, I was still enjoying it. Now, I'm recording this in December, and I have not finished Baldur's Gate 3. I haven't gone back to it for a while. And I thought it's probably about time to just talk about the game from my perspective and my point of view and everything on it since we, you know, the game's obviously blown up. It's done very well for it. Very, very happy for Larian. But I don't think I'm as high on this project and this game as most other people. And there are multiple reasons for that and I do want to go over that. But I do want to make this clear that this is just, this is not me ragging on the guys at Larian. This is not me ragging on the game per se this is just the experience that i had and i want people to understand that like some of this stuff is subjective some of this stuff is things that they're in the game that i didn't like and that's okay and if you liked it that's awesome but don't do what some people did in the comments last time and be like well this is you seem to be complaining about this and it's like i literally stated that in the video i stated what was subjective and what was mechanical but people don't clearly don't watch videos or they have to they feel the need to comment on stuff like that but before I, I i talk about why i stopped playing and why i haven't gone back to it let me just say that the the writing the story and the characters in this game are some of the best i've ever seen in a video game right like that i can't deny that and i think that that stuff alone is what made allowed people to get through the game and what basically essentially allowed people to enjoy the game as it is right it was this very very massive focus on the story of the characters you meet the ones in the party especially and all the other NPCs in the world and stuff like that. So that's all good. Like, I'm not going to knock the game for that. But the reason I stopped playing Baldur's Gate 3 back in October, September, sometime around there, was because I got to a point in the game where I was trying to do a quest to get a particular character on my team. And things just weren't working properly for this quest. And I don't know if that was something i had did uh done or whether it was something that the game because bear in mind right i played this game at launch versus you know over a period of couple of months and i fully appreciate that a lot of things have been patched and fixed and stuff like that right but this is the choice you know that i made but uh yeah i, I tried to get this character and it, i just couldn't do it like it had broken somehow in some way and it just got to the point for me where I'd been running into so many really weird bugs and things and then that was kind of like the, the final straw I got very close to the end of the game to the point where I had like maybe four quests like major quests left to do and I only needed to do one of them technically to get to the final boss but I was trying to do everything and trying to do everything meant that my the games just took going on for a long long time but I, I, I basically hit this quest that I couldn't trigger I got a cutscene for this quest um, but I couldn't get anything else to trigger i don't know what had happened it all gone wrong and that was it that was the final straw for me where i was like you know what this game just is doing its best to push me the player away where i was just not having fun at that point i i had a fight with gortash and i just couldn't be bothered i got to the point where i, I, I turned it, the game down to easy because i was like combat at, at this point i'd hit level 12 combat had become so pointless and for me i just wasn't enjoying it and i know that that's just again that's like a personal thing right the whole point was to, to do the story and all that stuff but when there's no no incentive to do combat it's like well i might as well just skip it and so yeah i hit the did this quest it, it, it didn't work i couldn't do it so i just dropped the game altogether and i haven't gone back to it since at the time of recording this and yeah i just thought i'd talk about my experience with it because I, I fully appreciate that for a lot of people this you know i can understand why it's their favorite game of the year it's a ton of content the, the writing all that sort of stuff but i think people in some ways are overlooking some of the shortcomings of this game and i think that's where i have an issue with it it's like the game now is in a significantly better state than it was when it launched in august right that's a fair comment to be made but you know it's, it's twofold it's the experience i had with the game I, it was my choice to play the game you know when it came out so i had to suffer the the, the myriad of bugs the game had so we're talking like crashes uh, getting stuck in objects 
uh, my character spawning in the wrong place. The UI broke on me so much, right? So, I, I, you know, Larian were pretty quick on their stuff. And they went back and fixed it all. But by the time I got into Act 3, by the time I'd gotten to this, like, near end game, I'd had so many issues with the game on various different levels, be it bugs or gameplay mechanics. I just couldn't be bothered anymore. And that was something else that I felt with, like, with, uh, with this game is that it's so long. Like, yes, you don't have to do all the fat around the edges, like, but, but it's really fun to, like, learn about the characters. It's really fun to, you know, dive deeper into particular parts of the lore and see parts of things and, and meet characters and whatnot. So I get it, right? And I think it's just one of those things where it was, like, a combination of the game being incredibly long, a combination of potentially quests breaking, and just not finding combat fun anymore. It was just kind of like, ugh. You know, got to that point, and then, so I stopped playing. You know, I stopped playing it. You know, and, and and that was that was that. And I know a lot of people have had such a much better experience, but I can only be honest about how I feel about the game. Like, don't get me wrong; I still, overall, I still enjoyed my time with the game. It's probably only the last sort of five hours of the game that I wasn't that keen on things that were happening because there's some amazing set pieces. You go and fight a wizard in his tower. Um, you've got, especially Act Three. There's tons of fun things to do there. And some good boss fights but the game i think is a little bit uneven and i think the dnd mechanics also made it less fun for me like being ambushed is never fun in a game like this because you can just get absolutely destroyed and there's a lot of randomness the game doesn't tell you a lot of things as well like you can find out certain stuff but like with the quest that i was trying to do essentially i have no idea if the quest broke or i did something to not trigger it I don't know, like, without finding a guide and, like, following it step by step and reloading a really early save, which I just don't, don't want to do, I'm, I'm thinking, well, now it could be one of two things, either I've messed up here, or the game has, but I've got no way of knowing that, and I think there's a lot of things like that in this game where, yeah, I get it, you want some authenticity there, but just, like, as a player, I want to I wanna know stuff, like, I want to know, like, what might, you know, the repercussions of some actions and stuff, like, even the game not auto-saving very well in it, or like killing you off in cutscenes. There's a lot of stuff in here that's probably from the D&D mechanics that just didn't gel well with me, right? And that's on me, and that's fine, right? I still think some of these issues could be resolved by not either, you know, having a better in-play save or, or giving, uh, warning people, doing a better job of that, or whatever it may be. But it's hard to talk to people about this game and be like oh yes the game the, the big game of the year that everyone really liked and it's like if you liked it amazing super glad for you i'm glad that you managed to overlook you may not have had any bugs i'm glad you overlooked any bugs if you do have them and, you know to be able to get through it and enjoy that story and the combat and everything else in between to really enjoy it at a level that makes sense for you right for me it's like i absolutely loved larian's last game so divinity original sin 2 is one of my favorite rpgs of all time and that's because i played it at a time where i needed something to distract me and i got super suckered into that and me and don hayes played played it through start to finish and i loved it and there are things that that game does that i didn't like when Baldur's Gate did it and i'm not sure whether that's just my tolerance or was this because i was playing a single player but overall i think some of the mechanics in divinity, divinity original sin 2 are just better i i think i preferred the world I think I preferred the, the music was definitely better in Divinity Original Sin 2. It's not that it was bad in Baldur's Gate, but it's not nearly as memorable. Um, yeah, it was just there was a lot of things where I'm just kind of like I don't know if I I think I prefer Larian's combat and build and stuff in Divi Divinity World rather than the Baldur's Gate world. Obviously, they're beholden to the D and D rules, you know, and what all that en encompasses. Is but I think this playing the game now, I wish I'd played Baldur's Gate 3 now. We're talking December 2023 or even January 2024 because the game is clearly in a much better state with a ton of quality of life added in and updates and bug fixes and all this other stuff. And I can't change the fact that this is the experience that I had. You know, I've got my personal grievances with mechanics and things that I might not like that are in the game regardless. I still think Baldur's Gate 3, despite being a lot of fun i think the game wastes a hell of a lot of your time <laughs> some of those fights can take you so long to do and reloads and all this sort of stuff i'm just like oof. partly why i dropped it down to easy in the end and you know maybe the game just didn't hit all the right buttons for me maybe it was if i if 
my tolerance to bugs are quite uh, low so when I start hitting a lot of bugs it does kind of ruin my experience for me um, you know and some of those uh, mechanical things that were brought into the game I just wasn't that high on you know like you've got like I said like ambush that's one of them just some of the other like the randomness in the game the the dice I quite liked the dice rolls for decision making I thought was good like again I'm not somebody who puts scores on it this is probably like an eight, eight seven or eight out of ten right for me that's where I kind of put boulders gate I couldn't put it any higher than that because of the experience that I've had with it I do want to finish the game I really want to finish and see the end of the story but I just don't have the energy to play it like where I left off I was trying to like do some quests for some dragon I'm just like the thought of going back to it now after like two or three months is just like I just don't have the energy for it right now anyway in the future I probably will but I thought oh you know I'll finish that off over December I haven't even touched the game I don't even know if I will touch the game you know and that's kind of this where I'm at with it and despite all of that I still think the game's good I still think the game's great to be fair but I think I had an experience that wasn't up to snuff for the sort of thing. I, I know I should have waited, right? I fully appreciate it on a game like this. I should have learned from previous things. I should have waited and played it now, right? But I can't deny that the experience I had was bug ridden and some of the mechanics and stuff aren't to what I liked. There are some hilarious moments in this game. There's some like dialogue, mm, amazing. Characters, amazing some of the encounters amazing but i'm also not going to deny that act two is definitely a low point of the game and had act two been shorter or different i'd probably enjoyed the game even more but i had so many issues in act two before i even got to act three that it's like i can't ignore that and no matter what people say you know whether people want to say i'm wrong or whatever it may be like my experience of the game was there is a really solid game in there but I just had so many issues every time I picked the game up and played it. And it's just kind of like... It it ruined it ruined what I think should have been an incredible experience for me. Whereas, I'm happy for other people. And I'm just I'm just like, yeah, it was, it's good what I played of it. And, and I'm happy with that. And, I, and I'm okay with that. Right? I hope that Larian go back to doing Divinity. I have more interest in Divinity. I don't clearly don't like some of these uh, mechanics from D&D that were brought over from D&D to be used in this game just level capping at level 12 really just kind of I, I wish you could still level up maybe you don't get the skill uh, the spells maybe you can just do something else I wish they'd sort of change that part because to me there was like well what's the point of fighting at that point you know combat serves nothing other than like, you know you're not getting experience so you might get some good weapons or whatever and I really do I really do appreciate the fact that a lot of people are going to be like, nah, man, like, this is super great. I don't think the game's as groundbreaking as some people make it. I will say it's incredibly, you know, for, for a studio as small, if you like, as Larry, I think it's good. I don't think it's as groundbreaking as some people make it out to be, but it never needed to be that. It just needed to be a really good D&D &D game, which it is, you know. And the, the, the thing about the bugs is that I played Tears of the Kingdom this year. I played Advance Wars Reboot Camp this year. I played street fighter 6 this year and tears of the kingdom i encountered one bug in my 80 to 100 hour playthrough advance wars i encountered one crash um you know i've played a lot of games that should probably have been more buggy than this and they just in terms of quality and polish they just were significantly better you know and that and that to me makes me think that this game came out too early i mean it's a big game it's a lot to cover when i'm not but you know, I don't want this video to just be me ragging on Baldur's Gate. It's not. It's more just the experience I've had with it and why I haven't finished it and whether I'll go back to it or not. Um, you know, there. If you like a very good, if you like an incredible story and that's why you're there, then you'll love this game. You know, if it gets you to look into D and D stuff, you'll love this game. There's a lot of good in this game, right? But there's no point in me sitting here and and t telling you about all the good I've had when that's not the case. And also you know people aren't talking so much about negatively negatively about this game because maybe they didn't have the experience maybe their tolerance to bugs is much better than mine is but i think i you know i've got to keep it real in the sense that like this is a game where i think i'm going to argue with a lot of people going forward on just like how good it, it 
actually was when it launched not you know now is probably better but all these little niggling uh, kind of issues or like just in terms of you know, mechanics that I didn't enjoy and then some issues with the gameplay and pacing and you know randomness and all this. so there's just a ton of things right despite all that I still recommend the game I think if you've got a passing interest in RPGs this is a phenomenal RPG and you probably will like it unfortunately for me my experience was tarnished by you know what all the things I've spoken about and bugs especially and here we are today me talking about it and essentially just being like hey that was a game and I, I think it's great um, I want to finish it but who knows when I'll go back to it so but yeah you know there you go that's why I never actually I've never sat down and talked about the ending is because I never finished it I would like to finish it so I could sit down and maybe talk to, with Don Hayes on his channel about it because I think it would be quite good to have different perspectives and like what we liked what we didn't because he's massively high on that game and I don't blame him that's like completely fair I just don't share that sentiment so like many people like that do love it I probably am more of the minority uh, but by no means is the game bad like don't get that don't get the wrong idea it's not a bad game it's a very well put together game with some incredible moments in it it's just I can't couldn't possibly recommend it as this incredible the best game of the year or something because like it to me it's not the best game of the year that came out but you know it's a super subjective thing anyway just thought I'd make this a video just to sort of talk about Baldur's Gate 3 that's how I feel about it that's where I'm at with the game if I do get around to recording footage of the game that'll be from me doing it now it might just be you might just see me sat here talking to the camera um but you know hopefully people aren't going to get too upset with me just being honest about my experience but hey if you do you do anyway thank you very much for watching as always if you like the video hit like if you want to see more content like this and hit subscribe links for facebook and twitter will be down below in the description as always and until next video i will see you then